What is unobtrusive research? Unobtrusive research refers to methods of collecting data that don't interfere with the subjects under study, because these methods are not obtrusive. The purpose of unobtrusive methods is to allow researchers in order to collect data without interfering with the subjects under study. The term unobtrusive measures was first coined by Webb, Campbell, Schwartz, and Secrest in a 1966 book titled Unobtrusive Measures, Non-Reactive Research in the Social Sciences. Both qualitative and quantitative researchers use unobtrusive research methods. Unobtrusive methods share the unique quality that they do not require the researcher to interact with the people he or she is studying. Historical comparative methods, which are unobtrusive, focus on changes in multiple cases over time or on more than one nation or society at a single point in time. Unobtrusive research or unobtrusive measures is a method of data collection used primarily in the social sciences. Methodologies which do not involve direct elicitation of data from the research subjects. Unobtrusive measures are contrasted with interviews and questionnaires, in that they try to find indirect ways to obtain the necessary data. The unobtrusive approach often seeks to unusual data sources, such as garbage, graffiti and obituaries, as well as more conventional ones such as published statistics. Unobtrusive methods use ways of collecting data that do not involve in the direct elicitation of information from research participants. There are a variety of ways exist for gathering data unobtrusively, such as content analysis, physical trace, and archival methods, analysis of existing statistics, historical analysis, comparative analysis, discourse analysis, etc. In unobtrusive research projects, like all research projects, face the risk of introducing researcher bias into the work, researchers using unobtrusive methods do not need to be concerned about the effect of research on their subjects. This effect, known as the Hawthorne effect, is not a concern for unobtrusive researchers because they do not interact directly with their participants. In fact, this is one of the major strengths of unobtrusive research. Another strength of unobtrusive research is that it can be relatively low cost compared to some of the other methods. Because participants are generally inanimate objects as opposed to human beings, researchers may be able to access data without having to worry about paying participants for their time that is certainly traveled to or access to some documents and archives can be costly. The weaknesses of unobtrusive research include the many such as, there may be potential problems with validity. The topics or questions that can be investigated are limited by data availability. And it can be difficult to see or account for social context. In short, in unobtrusive research, there is no possibility for the Hawthorne effect and the method is cost-effective, it is easier in unobtrusive research than with other methods to correct mistakes. Furthermore, unobtrusive methods are conducive to examining processes that occur over time or in the past. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.